When it comes to ski buddies, Kai Zackerson is about as good as they get. Just being around the dreadlocked Swedish Pied Piper of Stoke is enough to put a smile on anyone's face. For the past six years, we've explored Europe by car, train, and helicopter, taking far more than our fair share of powder and good times. This year, we decided to invite along Swedish super skier Henrik Winstead. The plan was simple. Henrik and I would meet at the Salmon headquarters in Annecy, France, then drive to Chamonix, pick up Kai, and spend two weeks skiing all the resorts around the Mont Blanc Massif. We're not off to a very good start <laughs> so far. What do you think, Hanky? No, all the lights and the dashboards are flashing too now. <laughs> two fruitless hours later, the crew crammed into one RV and headed towards Chamonix. As we pulled into town, we spotted a wicked north wind blowing what was left of the powder into southern Italy, along with our morale. With no snow in the forecast for the Mont Blanc area, this trip was heading sideways in a hurry. Fortunately, a check of the Powfinder app, word that our second RV was fixed, and the arrival of Kai was all we needed to restore our spirit and get the trip back on track. Okay, I'm ready to ski some pow. Right. And drive around the Alps and have some fun, okay? <laughs> and drink wine. You're in the right place. <laughs> we set our sights on the tiny Italian hamlet of Argentera and hit the road. Arriving just after midnight, we pulled up our rolling hotel rooms to the base of the lift and woke up the next morning to a dusting of fresh snow and the ski area virtually to ourselves. I put my best foot forward, trying to step direct, but life seems awkward. And the world is enormous, but I feel like I'm moving at the face of a tortoise. I need a little patience, but I'm too tempted to flirt with temptation Like on Caucasian, decide your own process of elimination If we could see where we are from Where we deny and where we go wrong Then we can learn from lessons to learn And maybe we can find some peace of mind Life gets better as the times get better And despite for it to clear up in Argentera and uh, it finally has full bluebird today but um, well a third of our crew has gone down with uh, a little bit of a stomach issue and uh, which wasn't too pleasant out in the parking lot last night um, I'm probably the next best qualified person to run a camera so we're gonna hand off and uh, there's Ben real happy to be here right now. I felt better and, uh, boys Try and make some magic, eh? Yeah. It may have been the searing Mediterranean sun, the signs of avalanche on nearly every aspect, or pity for our comrades in the valley. Perhaps it was a combination of all three, but at day's end we decided to head north toward cooler temperatures and hopefully better skiing. We ended up in the Italian town of Clavier, which is part of the Via Latea ski circus, straddling the French-Italian border. After our first day, we were feeling pretty good about our latest move. This was the kind of skiing we came for, and there seemed to be no reason to go anywhere else. Still the wind when it blows, I can hear, I can hear, it you know. Yeah, I know time's moving slow, but if you wait, you can say what you love, and I know.
We were drunk on a cocktail of stoke and adrenaline. In my revelry, I missed some of the classic signs of dangerous terrain and ended up getting the scare of the season. That was wow. a bit scary, I have to say. We didn't expect to have that much action there, otherwise there's no way we would have skied it. <laughs> but um, it shows us, you know, you gotta, you gotta tread lightly out here and, and step carefully. Ooh. That night back at the RV, we celebrated good friends and our good fortune. The next morning, yeah. we were back on Is the hunt for snow. Right there too? It's saying yeah. south, back south again. Okay. Um, with over 70 centimeters of new snow in the forecast, we began what was supposed to be a four-hour journey to Isola de Mil. Eight hours later, the intensifying snowstorm and our RV's lack of traction forced us to retreat to the nearby town of Saint-Étienne de Tine. The next morning, we swallowed our pride and did what every serious skier considers the ultimate failure. We rented chains. Now we're just hoping to get the chains on and get all the big buses out of our way and then we're gonna drive up to Isla del Mil. The snow picked up as we finished our last run of the afternoon and we felt certain tomorrow would be the day we'd been waiting for. We awoke to 45 centimeters of fresh powder and made our way straight to the base of the lifts. With all the new snow, it took the patrol nearly two hours to get the mountain open. But nothing could bring us down. Not even watching the snow turn to rain at the top of our first run. Two, three, As free skiers, we often assume our happiness is based on deep snow and great terrain. But it's trips like this that prove that simply sharing an adventure with your friends is sometimes all you need. Sometimes life gives you lemons, then you make lemonade. <laughs>